Irish accent is an elusive thing. It's kind of like the Bigfoot of the spoken world. Uh, there's a lot of examples of people trying to do Irish accents that don't have an Irish accent, and it just sounds absolutely dreadful. But we were classified as the sexiest accent in the world. Our infamous Irish accent was voted the most sexiest in the world. The most sexiest. Get fucked, Italy. No luck for you, Scotland. Haha, <laughs> eat shit, France. So we know the Irish accent is a powerful thing. It'll get the swellings going in you. It'll get the blood flow. But I want to look at some examples of horrendous Irish accents. Oh, Sean, why don't you just go to your own channel? <laughs> go back to bed, child. Start drinking more milk, bitch. <laughs> the reason I thought about doing this video was for a movie that's coming out called Wild Mountain Time. And not time, like... Oh, I'm late for a meeting. No, time is in the herb. Um, and it stars, uh, who's in it? Emily Blunt? Christopher Walken? I know. Good, strong Irish people. Welcome to Ireland. <laughs> Once upon a time, there were two farms. The Maldoon farm where Rosemary lived. And That's just Christopher Walken being Christopher Walken. He's not even trying to be Irish. He did a little bit when he said the Muldoon farm and Rosemary. But everything else was just like, hi, I'm Christopher Walken. And him trying to be Irish is the most bizarre thing I've ever heard in my life. Right down the road was my farm, where my son Anthony asked his lonely question of the stars. Why did you make me so? <laughs> Rosemary Muldoon. Yeah! Be sotted with love. Be sotted. <laughs> With love. That's what we do in Ireland, by the way. We just hang out in fields and run around with our arms out in the middle of cattle. And then hop on our horses and give it a smack and go. <laughs> oh, and he says those things. It's not normal. I don't care. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm stopping it all over the place. And we're not going to be just looking at this, but holy God. I don't care. When he says those things. Look, I love Emily Blunt. She's one of my favorite actresses, but... Why didn't you just cast Irish people? He fell in. He had a rock tied to his neck. He had a rock tied to his neck. Christopher Walken trying to be Irish. It makes no sense. <laughs> if it comes to that, I'll freeze my eggs. You should freeze your whole body if you're waiting for that one. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Doesn't sound Irish at all! Anyway, whatever. That's Wild Mountain Time. It comes out soon. <laughs> Why am I promoting this fucking thing? It doesn't sound Irish! I kind of want to watch it though at the same time. I, I want to watch it and just kind of giggle at everything that's happening. Let's go look at a classic example of Brad Pitt in Snatch. I remember watching this when I was younger and I had no idea what was going on and I haven't heard it since. But Brad Pitt plays an Irishman in it. Um, so <laughs> let's let's have a listen. Well, do you want to do it? That depends. On what? On you. Hey, this caravan. Ah, uh, not the rouge, but the rules. It's not the same caravan. It's not the same fight. So what's the fucking size of the last one? Turkish. The fight is twice the size. And my master needs a caravan. <laughs> what? What is going on? By the Tarts Mobile Palace is a little fucking rich. Calling your mum a tar, I just meant. And I'll save your breath and cured your parts. Hey, look, so it's a heck of two roof lights. Uh, the sign is frame furniture. And the uh, scotter cushions with the uh, matching shack by cover. Yeah. Right. It's a terrible parcel to the party with the blue bags. Oh, it's so weird. Because it kind of sounds like it's right, but then it's not. Oh, that's fucking with my head. Brad Pitt. Oh, you're lucky. You're gorgeous. You know what? I'll give Brad Pitt credit for that one, because it's not that bad. He really tried to commit to it, and he didn't do the Oh, church is as I'm an Irish man kind of accent that everybody does. Like, he didn't... He didn't sound like he was off at the fairies. <laughs> That's really good. Ah, oh, nice. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> Did you have a shine? <laughs> Did you say I need to have a shine? <laughs> oh god, I want to watch this movie again. What a classic. You know what we need to watch? There is a video on like oh my god, this one. Irish farm farmers lose their sheep 
mad accent uploaded by GAA Gold. Oh God, Th this is a this is a weird one. I want to see how many of you can actually understand what he's saying. Well, that's fine, Arsenal. That's right, then. You win them in. And you want them to eat? Fine, Arsenal. Last Saturday, Anyone? Mikey Joe O'Shea brought his flock of Scotch sheep down from the mountain commonage ahead of lambing. He discovered over 50 were missing. Allowing for a number of deaths and strays, Mikey is convinced over 45 sheep have been stolen. 45? That's a mad load of sheep. Possibly a night, there'd be a full moon there about a night and it should be bright out and there could anyone go up in the mountains about a night, sure. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god, that's a heavy accent. Jesus! As I'm saying, down in County Kerry. Down in the south of Ireland is some of the maddest accents you'll hear. Well, there was 45 sheep missing, Mike, and the lambs, and you know, within the sheep, just count, just count out the nice bit of money, Mike. To be done about you, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll translate for you, I'll translate. Possibly a night, there'd be a full moon there about a night, and it should be bright out, and there could anyone go up in the mountains by a night, sure. There was a full moon out, and it was real bright, so anybody could have come up and taken them. Well, there was 45 sheep missing, Mike, and the lambs, and you're within the sheep. Just count, just count out the nice bit of money, Mike. There was lambs and everything missing, and the sheep, you know, like, it'll count out to a nice bit of money. What can be done about it? Nothing. What can be done about it? Nothing. <laughs> I feel like that scene in Hot Fuzz, where he's like, ah, I don't know, I don't know, Like, he says, an edge is an edge. I don't know what Reaper's moaning about. It's not all that difficult. All you gotta do is have a good dog. Have a good dog and... Go at night, some moonshine night. Just put the dog around him, put him on a trailer and walk him. <laughs> oh my God. This is why Brad Pitt's accent is not that bad because some people actually are that hard to understand. <laughs> I think some Irish people would have a hard time understanding this guy. He says, all he needs is a good dog. He's missing a few ewes, uh, female sheep, and all he needs is a good dog and you walk around him, you know? Whoever is doing it knows what he's doing. Sean McAteehig. RTE News, West Kerry. Sean McIntyhig. What a name. Another Sean. That's how you pronounce that. Sean McIntyhig. This is what we get up to on the Irish news. Everybody else is talking about all the horrible things going on in the world and politics. Ireland's like, oh, there's about 45 sheep missing now down in the, the south of Kerry. And uh, it's moonshine night now and you come in and you get an old dog and you, it's no problem at all. Like you come in... <laughs> <laughs> is this how it sounds when I talk in my videos? Is that how some people see me? Because whenever I hear people do an impression of me, it comes out as they're like, I'm Jack Septic Eye. I don't sound like that. And if I do, I'm so sorry. Irish schoolboy with thick accent warns of frostbit. It was a wintry walk to school in Port Village, but they're a hardy breed in these parts. Well, the demolishers, we had to go anyway. We hadn't much a choice in the matter, but sure. It's a I cold, it's a cold journey to school <laughs> this morning. Oh, good, you wouldn't belong getting frost, but... It's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Irish people really are just built differently, aren't we? Oh, we're a different breed. Oh, you wouldn't belong getting frost, but... <laughs> oh, good, you wouldn't belong getting frost, but... <laughs> <laughs> I love that. What a great accent. Irish Rowers interview. I think I've looked at this before, but my God. Guys, good afternoon. Congratulations. You did us proud today. How are you feeling? So these are Irish Rowers that won a silver medal in the Olympics. Yeah, Olympics 2016. And they have very strong accents. I think they're from Cork. Hi, lads. How are things? What's the crack? <laughs> we're in Rio. Yeah. The, the, background might, might, the background might look superimposed, but it's very real. <laughs> Hi, guys. How are going? What's the crack? Uh, the background might look super imposed now, but it is very real. <laughs> Error, I've been shook enough now, to be honest, since the, the racing is a bit tired now and the legs are like jelly, but... Um... <laughs> I feel shook now. His legs are like jelly. I had to go and do this doping control thing, so I, I was there for an hour or two trying to take a pee then into a cup for them, so... Uh, and after about 10 litres of water as well, so... Um, it's full up now, to be honest. <laughs> Legend. We're from the Skibbereen Rowing Club uh, in West Cork, down the very south of Ireland. Uh, we're racing the Double Skulls Challenge Cup here in Henley. Skibbereen. Has there ever been a more Irish sounding name? Down in Ballyharness. Down in the rowing bays out in the bog water. A grand pair of lads. Lovely, lovely to look at. Lovely to listen to. I have no idea what this video turned into. <laughs> I didn't really have a setup or a plan to go with. 
But, you know, we're in it now, so we might as well listen to a bunch of this stuff. How to do an Irish accent. Alright. Hello friends, I'm Madeline Harvey, and today I thought it would be wonderful to extend our vocal workings to include the music of an Irish accent. Music, you call it! Music! So if you like today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, or click the subscribe button below. I would yeah, that goes for you guys as well. Alright, if you like this video, click like right now. Also, put it up on screen. That's how many people of you are subscribed and not subscribed watching this. What are you doing? Subscribe now! My favorite place to start, as a jump off place in an Irish accent, is the sound I. Now in English we say I, but in an Irish accent we say oi, as in the word oil. Oil. Now just jump in with this on me. Say What? Oil. Oil. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a good barometer for this. Say oil. Oil. Now add that sound to the word Ireland. Ireland. Ireland! It's a very specific accent that would say Ireland. Do you feel that bending movement carry you into the sound? Yeah, I'm a vowel bender. But in an Irish accent, it's as if we smile, making the vowel very broad as it comes forward to the front of the mouth. So instead of park, garden, we would get perk, garden. Go ahead and try this with me. Perk! Garden! I say those that way anyway already. I'm fucking- I'm great at this. You should also try and say the word mirror in an Irish accent, because I just say mirror. It's just M-I and 15 R's. Flower. Sour. Hour. Are you gonna say flyer and sour? Flair. <laughs> what? Flair? <laughs> See, this is the problem with a video like this. I shouldn't be giving people shit, because this is this is a hard thing to do. And putting yourself out on the internet like this and trying to do it and everything, it's a hard thing to do. I'm just having fun here. I'm not trying to insult anybody. But the thing is, when you say how to do an Irish accent, every town in Ireland has a completely different accent. Every county has about 50 towns in it, if not more, and each one has a completely different accent. So trying to do an Irish accent is like trying to do a, a European accent or an American accent. It's like there's so many different dialects within it. Home, blown, stone. Home, blown, stone. Loom, bird. <laughs> Which Irish accent is the sexiest? Jacksepticeyes. No bother at all. Thanks, guys. You better vote for me. I wouldn't say I find Irish accents sexy. Um, I like them, but I'm not necessarily turned on by them. What the fuck, Jeff? Sexiest accent in the world, didn't you see the start of the video? We just exude sex appeal. Also, I noticed that whenever I do these types of videos, my accent gets much stronger. I didn't actually know that there were a lot of different types of Irish accents. I feel like I only am familiar with one. I've never heard that globally it's one of the sexier accents, but I've seen a Kiss Me I'm Irish t-shirt, but I just thought that was like, I'm drunk, let's make out. I mean, he's not wrong with that, but stop having your ears under a rock, Jeff. Southside Dublin. Hello there. Hi. Even that, I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. Fantastic. That's a strong entrance. <laughs> yeah. Right now, I'm doubling my efforts to get you to go out with me. <laughs> uh, yeah. I wonder, are they working? <laughs> are you a city centre park? Because I can see myself marrying you. <laughs> I'm honestly so distracted by how funny your accent is that I, like, not paying attention to what you're saying. That's how I say Dublin. Hey, your accent is so strong. <laughs> is it? I didn't realize. Is it? Is it? That's, a, that's the thing with Irish accents is that the T sound is always like an SH sound. I think I've talked about this so many times before and so many Irish people who are watching this video right now are cringing so hard. I am so sorry, okay? I just think it's fun listening to people talk about Irish accents, alright? I love Ireland. I know I moved away from it. But I miss it. It's really nice. And I, I like the, the scenery and I like the people. And the accents are lovely to listen to. All right, Northside Dublin. Kiss me. I'm Irish. Ooh, that, see, I just thought it was gonna be kiss me. I was like, okay. Yeah. It's so straightforward. <laughs> just pause for a mm. dramatic effect. Yeah, no, that's good. Yeah. Did my eyes just turn green? Because when I see you, I feel like I'm getting lucky. Oh! <laughs> when I see you, I, I can't even do it. <laughs> I'm slowing down how I speak now. Really? Yeah, because naturally I talk very, very fast and people actually can't tend to understand me. They have to tell me to slow down. Slow down. Ah, Dublin. 
What a great accent. County Louth. I'm I'm just enjoying myself now. I don't know what a County Louth accent actually sounds like. That's the the joke in Ireland is like, what's the what's the noisiest uh county in Ireland? It's County Loud. So I'm expecting high points now on this accent. Okay. <laughs> Do my best. So the pressure's on. Okay. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay. Um I wish you were my lover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from this place called County Loud, so you know, I was hoping I'd be allowed to buy you a drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get it! <laughs> Great pickup lines. This is the stuff we're here for. County Cork. Cork has a very strong accent. Hello, Becca. <laughs> Irish, you were, my lover. <laughs> I mean, I don't feel like we say lover that much, but I don't know. I like you should say it more. I think lover. It's nice. lover. Yeah, lover. You smell amazing. Mm, thank you. Yeah. Fancy coming back to my place to see my pot of gold. To uh, <laughs> see my pot of gold. Yeah, I feel like you probably have a very nice pot of gold. Oh. I mean... Keep it in the blindfold, Jeff. I'm so sorry to do this to you, but will you please say top of the morning to you? No. Give me anything else. Like top of the evening to you. <laughs> oh, this is a particular cork one. Yeah, <laughs> Irish people don't say that. <laughs> and every time people ask me to say it, I'm like, oh no, it's just cringy now. Irish people, I'm sorry. Please let me back into the country whenever I go back again. Whenever I'm allowed to travel again, I want to go back and travel Ireland. I miss it. Please don't walk away. I've got abandonment issues. <laughs> I don't get, get it. No, I don't get any of these geography yeah. references. I'm your yeah. worst. You're like an Irish coffee. Hot, sweet, and you make me a bit jumpy. Hot, sweet. That's how I, that's that'll be your word to go away with. Sweet. Or ill. Or sir. Or fleur. <laughs> Alright, last one, let's go. County Kerry. I don't have four leaves, but if you pick me, I can give you a look. It took me a second to register. <laughs> I don't have four leaves. Oh, luck. I thought you said lick. See, it's all about luck. It is all about luck. Luck. We say it? Luck. 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 I don't think I'm saying it any differently. <laughs> Come over to my place and I'll show you my lucky charms. <laughs> okay. All right. Is that a shilling in your pocket? Are you happy to see me? <laughs> she sounds British. Is that a shilling in your pocket? Right? <laughs> was your woman called Kerry? Because she certainly wasn't Irish. <laughs> this like, because that is not a Kerry accent. That there is an English woman. Yeah, I knew it. Your one supposedly from Kerry was definitely not from Kerry. Like, she sounded bleeding English. <laughs> it's uh, whenever we say that woman, we always say your one. Look at your one over there. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like she just walked in and she was like, let's see if I can fool everybody. I'll just say that I'm from Kerry and see if these people recording this video actually have any idea. Maybe she's from Kerry originally or her parents are from, but she is not. Her accent's not from Kerry. Maybe this will help us. Facts. They're they're on an Irish channel, I believe. Um, so they're going to go through all the Irish accents. I think Ireland has to get something straight with the rest of the world, or maybe just Hollywood. You see, we don't all sound like leprechauns on acid. Thank you, Tom Cruise, Jared Butler, and Jesus have mercy on our soul, Julia Roberts. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna look those up. Bollocks! Stop acting bilingual! Oh, kiss me, Art! Tell me you like my hat. So if I never saw that other devil again in my life, it'd be too soon for me. Oh, mother of God. Okay, let's not subject ourselves to that any longer. On the north side, you'll hear people talking like this. Here the D replaces TH. So you get a lot of this, that, these, and those. And, those and if there's a T at the end of a word, bleed and forget it. Venture south and they'll speak absolutely like this. <laughs> the South Dublin resident is all about the O's and O's. Elongate those vowels like, yeah, yeah, like totally the opposite of the narrow sounds of the North Sider. That's so weird to listen to. Moving into the south, we come to the People's Republic of Cork, boy. For some weird <laughs> reason, everyone here speaks a few octaves higher than the rest of the country, boy. It's a little bit forlorn and a little bit melodic. Everything down in Cork is just great. You know, if you go out and we kicking and flying and shaving, shave a bullock, you know. <laughs> then there's Kerry, and that is probably the jewel in the Irish accent crown. Not sure even Irish people understand this, unless they're from the kingdom itself. Sure, it's fast and it's furious. SH features even when it's not there, you know. Oh my god, that's literally the farmer we saw earlier who lost his sheep. Like, sure doesn't it sound better for it, like, you know. Limerick is more nasal and sharper on the ear, so you can tell you've left the kingdom far behind. <laughs> this picture, he's wearing a spar bag and he has a knife. 
Limerick has the, the nickname Stab City in Ireland. That's where I went to college the first time, was in Limerick down here. I originally came from in here, went down here. You might get called a goal if you're acting the maggot or if you're langers. <laughs> oh, you're such a fierce gowl! Anyway, that's gonna do it for Irish accents. I have no idea what this video was. It was just me going down an Irish accent hole. But I had fun, so I hope that the video ends up being fun in the end. Anyway, there's a thing about Irish accents that I absolutely love. I know I'm kind of taking the piss out of them over and over again in this video, but that's kind of what we do in Ireland. We just make fun of each other all the time, but it's, it's all done in good crack. It's all done in good fun. Um... Yeah, I miss being around more Irish people more often. Uh, like, hanging around them in person and being able to talk with them because the accent is such a unique thing in the world. And I feel like everyone... You either love or you hate an Irish accent. And if you hate it, you're wrong. But Irish people, you're great. Don't change for anybody. Ah, uh, thanks for watching the video! Uh, leave a comment down below which accent you thought was the greatest one or the most interesting one. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe as well. Thanks, guys. So, no, what's in the sheep? Just count, just count out the nice bit of money, like. It may be English.